Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to show you the example of how to actually calculate the current from point one to point two across the Wheatstone Bridge, the current through the galvanometer between these two points. And here are some values. R1 is 300 ohms, R2 is 100 ohms, R3 is 40 ohms, and Rx is 60 ohms. The resistance of the galvanometer is assumed to be 4 ohms. The source to the circuit is 22 volts. In the previous video, we showed you how to find the Tevin and equivalent voltage and the Tevin equivalent resistance, and these are the equations we came up with. This was derived from the equivalency of this circuit being transformed into, into, into the Tevin equivalent circuit. The current to the galvanometer is then equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. In this case, the voltage is the Tevin and equivalent voltage. The resistance would be the total resistance of the combination of the Tevin and resistance and the galvanometer resistance combined here. And substituting this and this in the equation, we get these two values right here. So let's go find what these values are with the resistances that we got in the circuit. First of all, the Tevin and voltage is equal to the 22 voltage of the source. Uh, 22 volts, I should say, of the source times the ratio of R2, which is 100 ohms, divided by R1 plus R2, which would be 300 plus 100, minus R sub X, which is 60, divided by R sub 3, which is 40, plus 60, R sub X, which is 60. I wish I'd give myself some more room, so let me go ahead and do that. I can read All right, continuing with this. This is equal to 22 volts times, that's 100 divided by 400, which is 1 quarter, minus 60 divided by 100, minus 60 divided by 100. Let me just write that. go ahead and write that. So this is equal to 22 volts times 0 0.25 minus 0 0.6. Notice, since this is bigger than that, I am going to get a negative value, but that's quite all right. 0.25 minus 0.6, and multiplying that times 22 volts, I get this is equal to a negative 7.7 .7 volts, which means that the current, instead of flowing from A to B, if I call this point A and call this point B, it'll actually flow from point B to point A. Now that I have the Thevenin voltage, let me go ahead and find the resistance, Thevenin or Thevenin resistance. R Thevenin is equal to, and that would be equal to R1 times R2, that's the product over the sum, plus the product over the sum of the second parallel branch, R3, Rx over R3 plus Rx. Plug in the numbers here, R1 and R2 are 300 and 100, that's 300, times 100, divided by 300 plus 100, plus Second branch, R3 would be 40 times 60 divided by 40 plus 60. Let's see if we can simplify that. That's a 3 with 4 zeros divided by 400. Plus, that's a 24 with 2 zeros divided by 100. So this cancels out easily, and here we can take those two away. This will leave us 300 divided by 4, which is 75 plus 24, which is equal to 99 ohms. So the resistance, the Thevenin resistance, is 99 ohms. We can now find the current. So G is equal to the Thevenin voltage, which is a minus 7.7 .7 volts, divided by the Thevenin resistance, which is 99 ohms, plus the resistance of the galvanometer, which was 4 ohms, which is equal to minus 7.7 .7 volts divided by 103 ohms. So divide that by 103, and we get a minus 0 0.0748 amps. And that would be the current going through the galvanometer, but instead, going from A to B, we can see that the current flow actually is from B to A, the magnitude of the current is 0 0.0748 amps. And that's how we do an example of a Wheatstone bridge and how to calculate the current from the two points across the galvanometer. And that's how it's done.